So Torvald sent me their flagship bag, and I have very intentionally not looked at it closely. I've seen other people post videos. I think we actually posted a video that had a lot of feedback about it um, in the past. Sean Ames joined the channel and did a, a guest review of the Beta Flight bag. Um, and then he also included his Torval uh, Pit Stop bag, which um, he really likes. Uh, I don't think that I'm gonna use it because I am so in love with my Think Tank Helipack. So that's why at the end of this video, we're gonna go ahead and give this bag away. Um, and if you look really close, you might even see that my name is on there, um, which I will either let you have or not. It's up to you. I thought it was a pretty cool little addition. It's like a full like little rubber piece that they added um, that come that came with the bag. So I, that was really cool, and I'm really grateful to them. Um, I've also got their hat on, which I like. I really like these like the gray hats. I, I'm so sick of black hats. <laughs> um, but so we're gonna kind of discover this bag together, see what all it has to offer. Um, and then, uh, yeah, at the end of the video, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned. So I guess the primary feature of the bag is that it opens from the top to the bottom. With this really nice high quality zipper and it folds open that direction. Make sure you can still see all that. Um, then in here you've got these pretty standard rearrangeable pieces of foam so you could wedge you know a radio here or here or here whatever goggles here um, and then on these foam wedges there's netted little pockets so like if I pull one of these all out you can see that there's room in there for storage of whatever different things you have and you can change this to suit however you want. I would probably end up putting my lipos in the bottom to put all the weight as low on the back as possible so that it doesn't um, so that it's not trying to fall away from you so I tend to put my weight low on my back so that it pulls so that it doesn't fall away from me and like pull on me like this but if you set it down low so that's what I do with that <clears throat> um, but yeah so inside of this main pouch is really just it's all just these foam dealios and it's just a big open space. So you have all of that room to play with however you want. I don't know what the actual size of that is, but it's it's significant, right? There's there's a ton of room in there. And these are like fairly rigid, but they spring back into place. So you, however you want to rearrange that, you can. Right here on the top of the zipper, there's just a little, I don't know, it looks like a GoPro, just a, a little storage container. Um, it does not come off, unfortunately. I feel like that would be pretty cool if that z was, uh, uh, like velcroed on there so that you could just and then and then put it back on but uh, not the case uh, and then down on this top flap these two little things come open and then this opens to reveal more storage and there's this whole little I don't know maybe like a tool tray like you would put all of your sharp utensils in there it's like this nice like nylon plasticky piece um, that's down here so that's there also does not come off that's still attached to the bag and then inside this side you've got a little I guess a mat of some sort so it's just a little piece of fabric that dangles off um, that is like a workbench um, which is pretty cool so like once you have it laid out you'd have your tools here some space here and then your little workbench piece of fabric here but like I don't know if I see myself using that personally, um, but it's pretty cool that it's an option. And like once you're all set up like this, like this whole bag is, like that's taken up, you know, four foot of space. So like if you're like at a race or something, and you're trying to use this all like this on a workbench, it's gonna be in someone's way, if not yours. So, um, but we'll fold this back up. And yeah, that's the only thing in there. And then this closes back in on itself. Click, click, and whack. So then this is back up on top. We'll close this up. On the top of this zipper, or on, this, on the top of the bag, you got a zipper that opens up to reveal this open space. Um, it's kind of hard shelled against the back there. So if you had something that you wanted to protect in there, um, like that's to me is like where I would put my like wallet and phone. Um, when I'm flying, but I don't know what the intention is. Another little pocket up here in the top. Um, 
that goes both ways, so it's pretty pretty big, pretty deep. Um, yeah, I don't know what you would necessarily use this. Maybe goggles. Goggles would probably fit in there. Um, so that would be pretty cool. Let me let me get my goggles and see if they fit. Uh, so I've got my goggles. I'll leave them built as they are. Let's see if they fit. No, not like that. If I take off my power play, will I fit? I mean, technically that's in. Yeah, it's not really a great idea either. Other way around? No, definitely not. Yeah, so I guess not quite for goggles in there. That's too bad, but that's okay. So I guess maybe, you know, maybe that would be where you put your GoPros or, I don't know, stuff. Like, that's the fun of bags, right, is you can put stuff wherever you want. Um, down on the bottom, you've got some rubber stoppers for setting it up this way. Um, and then if we open this, I believe there's a rain cover that is attached to the bag. I actually like it when they attach these to the bag so I don't end up losing it. And then this folds all the way over top, which is super solid. I don't know if it'll fit with drones on there, but at least for protecting, you know, what you've got in the bag, that's great. That's nice and clean. That, that's going to stay on really well too. I like that. It's, uh... You don't know you need rain covers until you need them. And then you're like, oh, this is great. <laughs> when we were uh, hiking around in Iceland um, a year ago, maybe, it was awesome to, be neat to have that as a feature when it started downpouring in the middle of a hike and you're like three miles from the car with all of your gear. Like, oh, thank goodness we have, we have our rain covers. Um, let's see. So then, if this is the top, then the right side, you have a big deep pocket here for a water bottle and then a clip either for a drone or a tripod. So if you had a tripod, this would then clip over top of that like that. Um, we'll close this. I like the look of this panel here because it looks like it's gonna open all the way. So if I open this, this is gonna set all the way out. Oh, look at that, it's even got so that's gonna open up. You're not gonna be able to get a lot of stuff in there, right? Like if I try to put my goggles, like it's gonna be really hard to zip that around. But if you had props or tools again, would fit in there really well. <clears throat> and then on the other side, same thing, deep pocket, strap, pop it open, a little bit more uh, specific storage. So you've got a pocket there, a zippered pocket there with like that mesh net and then two of these plasticky pockets down here, nothing there. So there's intentionally leaving room for this to expand into that space without putting something in that pocket. So, yep. <clears throat> and then the next feature on the bag is these quad clips here. Um, these are really cool. So like with uh, Think Tank or um, uh, Low Pro, you needed to have like extra straps that were like the cinchy, um, clippy straps. I don't know what you call those. Um, but these have this, this bungee with, with changeable size. So you can make it tighter or looser. And then on the end of the bungee, it has a clip. So you can clip it in and then secure your drone that way, which is really cool. I like that a lot. So if we put the, you know, this is my standard five inch racing drone. And then like, even with this uh, shark fin or turtle fin, it clips on and now that's not going to fall off ever. That's awesome. I do, I do really like this design. I saw it, uh, I don't know, in some video, probably Shame's video. And I saw that and I was like, okay, that's a really good idea. I, I want to see the, uh, more, more bags have like dedicated clips like that. Cause this is just much cleaner than everything else I've seen. And it all just stuffs away underneath this front armor so that it's clean and there's nothing in the way. That's pretty cool. So then in terms of wearing it, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this on because this is something that is interesting to me. So it has these straps here, which help pull the bag closer to your back. So like, like and I'm kind of curious about this because I do a lot of hiking with all of my equipment is that essentially when you have the backpack on, let's just unclip all this. And this is the one reason I was thinking about keeping it instead of giving it away because it would be so great for hiking is that what these straps here do, where'd they go? There they are. They pull the, the top of the bag closer to your back. So if I cinch down on them, it keeps it from falling away from you, which pulls back on your shoulders, which really sucks for um, longer hikes and stuff. So, but then it also has these hip rests here, which is awesome. Um, so like with backpacking backpacks, if you have any experience with that, what you do is you basically put it all on and sorry if this is going to bump my mic or not. And basically you bring the bag up as high as you can with these straps. And then once you get, once you get the weight all the way up there to above your hips, then you cinch down your hip strap and then loosen the bag back onto the hips. So now, the bag is not like literally not even on my shoulders anymore and it's all sitting on my hips and that makes it way easier to hold the bag for a longer term and with these um, like comfort things here on the side uh, holding on to my hips it makes it really co much more comfortable over long term so if I'm going for a you know hiking up to the top of a mountain to fly or hiking into somewhere um, it makes it a lot more comfortable so like my think tank doesn't have that so i'm actually really jealous and that's like the one reason i want to hold on to this bag but i also want to give it to you guys so then when you're done you just loosen those up and the waist strap comes off and then the one across the chest and you're good to go <laughs> So yeah, I, this, this bag is really, really cool. It doesn't fit quite as much stuff as my think tank and my think tank. I'm so used to the packing process and the way that I use it to, to, to board a plane and to travel and all that stuff that I just am unwilling to change. Um, for example, like I have to fit two DJI goggles. What are you doing, bud? Kylo, come here. Come here. Over here. Can you come up? Up. Up. What do you think about this bag? What do you think? Is that cool? Okay, off. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just so used to the way that I pack and the way that I travel that changing um, that at this point would just be detrimental to my mental health. <laughs> um, like for example, like I have carried two sets of DJI goggles and they're just huge. So like that would take up like half this bag already and then I'm out of room for cameras or whatever I wanna bring. So, uh, so I'm gonna give this away. And my goal is to give this away to one of my YouTube channel members. I don't know if you know what a channel, channel membership is, but um, about uh, six months ago, I signed up to be a YouTube member and I haven't really done too much with it. Um, so those of you that have joined, I'm extremely grateful and excited. But I'm going to start pushing that a little bit more and more. And basically what it is, is if you haven't seen, if you know what Patreon is, it's kind of an opportunity for us to interact on a, on a deeper level where if you guys are enjoying the content, you can kind of choose to support it in a different way. Um, YouTube membership is the same thing. It's just baked into YouTube. Um, and so I'm going to give this away to one of my channel members. Now, that being said, it's actually illegal for me to force people to pay to be entered into a giveaway. So I'm also including a link in the description that you can use to uh, sign up and uh, you will also be entered into the competition. Um, but just kind of think about the, you know, the purpose of this is for, you know, us to be able to support each other. You know, if you become a member, it's as little as $2 a month, I believe is my like lowest entry point. Um, and then you know you I, I get a little bit of support from you and you potentially get the opportunity to win this backpack so i don't have that many members right now so it's actually pretty good odds um so but again please consider joining the channel as a membership consider subscribing uh for more giveaways and things like this backpack um if you're outside of the states i might actually no matter what i might ask for help uh with the shipping cost but this is like a 200 dollars bag so you know it's gonna cost you 20 bucks to get a bag for that would be 200 bucks it's a pretty good deal so um, if you're interested in participating in that, I highly encourage you to join as a member. If not, 
there's a little link in the description below. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, in order to become a member, all you have to do is go down below. Um, I'll put a little thing on screen and you just click the join button and then it'll take you through a couple prompts with like what the like reward tiers are and stuff like that. Um, so thanks for considering to do that. I appreciate all your help. It's awesome making videos for you, um, but also just need to find more sustainability and be able to continue pushing more and more content like this. So thanks for watching. It's awesome to have you guys here and stay flying.